I got to pull up this article from Post Millennial. This one is, oh, is yeah. you're going to love it. You're going to love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch elderly masked white women yell Black Lives Matter while assaulting black men for not what? wearing a mask. What? That's it. That's the story. What? <laughs> this, is, this is, I can't believe this is a video. I don't know uh, exactly where the video came from, but um, I saw it on libs of TikTok on, mm. uh, on Twitter. And you have, you can see these women. Apparently what happened was this black dude gets in an elevator. He's not wearing a mask. These two white women wearing masks yell at him to get out. And he's like, no, I was here first. You get out. They start attacking him. They hit him. And he's like, yo, you, you hit me. And then all of a sudden she goes, Black Lives Matter. What? Black, and then the other woman goes, Black Lives Matter. It's like, what the it's like you, yo, you hit a black dude on camera and you think yelling that is, is going to help you. Yeah, These ladies number. are holding up their phones. Mm. They know all about the Karen thing. But here's, here's the funny thing. These are the mask wearers. Mm. Mm. They're not supposed to be the Karens, right? Mm. Or are they? Like, it's, it's a weird thing that happened because the Karens were the people who were the right wing, you know, right. the Trumpers, the anti-vaxxers. They were the ones who refused to wear the masks in supermarkets. Now it's literally, it's flipped. Yep. The Karens are the we people wearing the masks. We saw that lady on the airplane. When she hit the guy, yeah. I think yeah. she's, or she's spitting she's his spit mouth. His yeah, mouth. yeah. Oh, she's spitting Ugh. his mouth. Yo, but I just want to, I, I think, you know, outside of that, are we really at the point where old white liberals think they can just yell Black Lives Matter after hitting a black guy and that like a like that's their strategy. That absolves them. Yeah. I remember a girl driving her car in a crowd of people and it's just like a black girl. I don't I don't call people I don't like calling people black and white firstly because we're not white or black. We have skin colors and it's ridiculous to call people black and white. But this woman was driving her car and people were like banging on the car and then they, in Portland, right? they realized that she was a black girl and they, yeah. they were like, oh, everyone hand, stop, let <laughs> yeah. her through. I remember, I black I Lives Matter. Video. Yeah. I don't remember exactly how that played out, but that was disturbing, man. I mean, this is this is the the signal that we've sent through the culture. I mean, from particularly from, you know, summer 2020 is if you say Black Lives Matter or you put up your little sign in front of your house or in, or in your uh, your business. It's, you know, it makes people know that you're on the side of, of the righteous. <laughs> Sometimes I would joke with my wife and I said to me, again, to borrow some, you know, sort of biblical imagery, it's like smearing the blood on the doorpost yes, so that is. death angel passes over mm -hmm. um, so that people know, look, I'm, I'm one of the good ones. I think Black Lives Matter. Let me, let, me, let me play this because the video didn't pull up, uh, but I want I to I oh, yeah. listen to this. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What, are you, what are you guys doing? Get out. What are you guys doing? Get out. Don't touch me. Don't you have to do not touch me. Do not touch me. I'm not touching you. Oh, did you just hit me? Did you just hit me? You just hit me. You just hit me. You too? Black Lives Matter. What? Oh my gosh. No, stop. Stop recording. I don't know. Wait, wait. Hear it again. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Stop recording. I don't know you. Yo, you need to stop. Get out. I'm not getting out. I was yes. here. Yo. Wow. Like, I would understand if there's like two white people fighting mm -hmm. and they're filming each other and then one of them yells Black Lives Matter yeah. trying to be like, if anybody sees this, I'm on right. the side of the of the cult. Right. But they hit a black guy and then yelled it. And I'm like, that makes it 10 times worse. Hmm. That's incredible. I think this is like peak virtue signal because they're like, I'm going to actually <laughs> assault someone who's actually black, but I'm going to say these magic words and yeah. it will mean nothing bad will happen to me. I also think this is one of the <laughs> unspoken symptoms of long COVID, quote unquote. Mm. The, the neuroses and the anxiety mm. and the fear have done almost as much damage as, as if not more damage than the, than the disease itself because this is how people act when they see, you know, like you just see a face. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You know, th that that type of anxiety is is not good. Look at, the, look at this picture. Let's pull, let's just pull up the article yeah. again. Like, look yeah, at this face, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Dude. crazy to me that I, I just, this lady's got no chill. Mm -hmm. I know. This you is know? The, it's the, what you're saying is so true about long, the long COVID having this psychological effect because you can't quantify it. Like yeah. you can quantify the bank account and like inflation mm -hmm. and, be, and we can all agree and point at the number, but with psychosis, you gotta just, you see it play out and like you gotta kinda call it out when you see yeah, it. And yeah. It's gonna be unpacking decades of trauma for people. And and, and part of this is driven by policy, right? Mm -hmm. Just just like the, the cities that impose the, vax pass, um, the vaccine passport mandates, now you're putting five to 120 pound year old young women um, in the position of playing bouncer at a restaurant. And if you do that in a city that's big enough, you're gonna have some bad reactions because everybody's already on edge. So now when I come, you know, let's say I'm out to celebrate, 
you know, my, my mom's birthday and I'm in a party of 20 and everybody else gets in and now you're saying, sorry, sir, you can't come in because you don't have the passport. And I'm just like, well, look here, I got a negative test. Oh, we don't, we don't take that. Now you're setting people up to have very, very bad interactions with people mm. over, again, policies that obviously are not working the way that politicians intended. I feel like within my soul, there is this feeling watching this video of these ladies mm -hmm. and, and, and like to express the pure like it, it is, the, is a perfect spiral of all of the BS. It is it is the leftist violence. Mm -hmm. It is the mask Karens. It is the covid policies all just compressed into <laughs> one point ready to just into burst. one elevator yeah. into one <laughs> elevator and i'm just like if there is any video you need to share with mm. your friends and family people often say to me tim my, my parents don't want to listen they don't believe it just go to post millennial pull this video pull this out get the tweet send it to them and ask them what they think mm. and then they're going to be like whose side are you on mm. the, the mask people who are hitting a black guy and yelling black lives matter who apparently are the Black Lives Matter supporters. Jeez. Or the dude who's refusing to wear the mask. What mm. the heck? It, mm. it, it's, you know, what, what I find fascinating about it is it, 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 it creates like a, it's this position where if you're, if, you're, if you're intellectually honest, if you're principled, it's really, really simple. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the race of the guy. I care they, they shouldn't have attacked him. Right. I'm not a fan of mask mandates. These people are crazy. But if you're on the side of Black Lives Matter or the mask Karens, you're in a, you're in a pickle here. Mm -hmm. This guy, I did notice he seemed to flick at the girl right when the video started. It's kind of out of context because it starts in the middle of the argument. For all I know, he could have screamed at him before they started recording. Yeah. Probably unlikely. Yeah, but, but come on. Listen, he, he kind of flicks. So it's, it, I don't want to blame either one of them for nah, starting nah. it. It looked like they were just kind of you listen pushing at each other. to the dude filming and he is, he's chilled out. He's confused. Yeah. yeah, he's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? They're angry. Yes. Yeah. That's that anger, sure. man. And he's also like stuck in the elevator, has to get to where he's going. So he's like, dude, I can't. This is beyond me at this point. <laughs> this poor <Just> guy, man. <laughs> This is like uh, uh, one other video that I really like to uh, uh, um, uh, bring up is when the guy was following the woman around the supermarket and he said, is anyone else mad that we all have to wear masks and she isn't wearing hers? Because mm. it's not about COVID. It's about authority and about doing as you're told. It's That's obedience. So interesting, I, I, yeah. It's funny. Uh, I call masks obedience masks, particularly in front of my kids. Um, my daughter, who's six, will always respond, it's not an obedience mask, dad. Oh, so I mean, it's, it's like a running joke. My wife probably doesn't like it, but I mean, that's, that's, that's really what it is. It's, it's, a, it's about compliance. It's not about the virus at this point. It's about, I feel like I have, well, I feel like I have to wear it. And I feel bad when I see people who are flouting these laws or these mandates or these orders that I feel like I'm, I'm stuck with. And, and that's really what it is at this point. Going, going back to what we were talking about with like Bill Maher and stuff, you know why I'm not a fan of that conversation? Mm. I'm willing to bet that Bill Maher and Barry Weiss, they, they look at the polling. They're like, parents are, are tired of this. Mm -hmm. The polling for Biden's in the gutter. I can tell when the ship is sinking, I'm getting off. But Bill's interesting. He I remember 2001 after 9-11, he was like a vocal advocate for like, against the establishment he was really a show i think it was politically correct was mm -hmm. that the name? and he was like relentless and they canceled it they canceled his show like he was like a full-on like what's the guy's name said the seven words that that comedian uh, george, george carlin. carlin he was carlin like full-on the embodiment of george carlin i still get that from him but then he was gone then he came back yeah and now a, a little bit toned down real time's a little more toned down um he's getting older but i still love that i feel that like rab that rebel in him I got to be honest, you know, I work a lot. Uh, I do the morning show. I do the night show. And with Luke leaving the show, I get it. Luke does his own show, too. He's got his channel. And so he was he was working nearly as much as I was. But, uh, you know, to a certain degree, like I'm also we're also running the business and expanding. So there's a little bit extra. There's a bit more that I do. But now I'm, I'm thinking, you know, Luke's on the road. He's going to be in Florida. He's going to be working only his morning shift. He's got all that free time at night. Hmm. I can totally understand at a certain point you're like, Yo, I've worked so hard endlessly for the past several years. For me, I'm like, no, no, no. We got to keep pushing. We got to keep fighting because there's things that I care about and things I believe in. Bill Maher, however, mm. I can already tell. He's a boomer. How old is he? 60 or something? 62, I think. Oh, 62. He's also mm -hmm. Ashkenazi Jew and uh, well, I not, don't know why not that Polish. Meant. No, I was looking up his. He's not Polish. Oh, I'm like, I, I, just, I don't know why that, that's relevant <laughs> to what I'm he's talking about. Ashkenazi Jew mother and Irish father, just yeah. so you know. Not, well, not you Polish, so but I know. Polish, yeah. Well, Ashkenazi is Eastern European, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. But, he's got but, some Putin but in him. It's irrelevant to my point. I hope they're related. My point is that it's very obvious he's checked out. 
Yeah. It's very obvious. Like when the Covington scandal happened, mm. he he came out and he was just wrong about it. And I'm like, yo, we corrected the story a week ago. CNN came out a week ago. <laughs> and Bill Maher is a week late, still wrong. And people were like cheering for it. And I'm just like, I don't think the show is actually about what's true and correct. I think it's about what's polling. And right. I, mm-hmm. I think, you know, with a story like that, it's entirely possible. He was like, I know it's not true, but this joke's going to play really, really well with this audience. So let's do it. Yeah. A year later, we're supposed to be happy that as the ship's sinking, we all got off the ship. Well, let me put it this way. Try not to be as it, try not to be too disrespectful to people who are at least saying something good. But there's the Titanic and, it, and it's, it's coming down. <laughs> and as soon as the iceberg is, it hits, we all said, hey, everybody, hit an iceberg. Time to get in the lifeboat. Mm-hmm. And everyone else said, shut up, you crazy right-winger conspiracy theorists. There's no iceberg. Nobody, nothing can sink the Titanic. Right. So we're like, so you guys don't care? We'll take this lifeboat. Get out of here, you crazy. He said, all right, we'll take it. Yep. Bye. Now, as the ship's crumbling and sinking, they're all getting... Like, oh. Oh, uh, 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 we, we need lifeboats too. We, we've been saying it the whole time. And I'm just like, the only reason they're saying it is because it's safe for them to say it now because yeah. the polling's in their favor. They weren't brave enough to speak out and risk getting canceled or fired or insulted mm-hmm. or smeared at the time, but they're willing to say it now. So when Bill Maher comes out and he does the virtue signal joke about vaccination, and I'm like, ah, they did market research and found we were right the whole time, right. and now they're realizing there's an opportunity for him. He, he got COVID. I, it changed that changed him a lot after he, he got, got shot COVID. Too, yeah, yeah, he got vaccinated, yeah. and then he got COVID and was like, what is this all about? And oh. that then he kind of changed. Thanks for checking out this segment from the TimCast IRL podcast. If you want to watch live, you can check out this channel Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. And if you want more unfiltered and uncensored content with all of these guests, go to TimCast.com and become a member. All of these guests you know and love in exclusive segments on our website where we are unrestricted in what we talk about. So you'll definitely not want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time.